After the whistle, match day 13, proudly presented by UCS, Clover, Indeca and Goldfields. We're, we're doing a double here because, uh, in all honesty, they're both going to muck up something. So, two wrongs do make a right. And <laughs> is it your birthday today, too, Tuesday. 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 Oh, well, let me save it for Tuesday. How are you, Yute? How you feeling, bro? No, I feel very good today. It was a great character win from the boys. Um, we ground out a massive second half and scored three goals and, yeah, finished very well. Uh, how you, are you feeling a little bit emotional? I mean, that, that's a big, big game. First versus third. We now go, I think, something like eight points clear. Yeah. Um, how is it emotional? Was it an emotional game for the boys beforehand? Yeah, I think before the game we were more focused. Um, we knew exactly what we had to do. We know we have to beat these teams to be in contention to win, win something this season. And, yeah, we all, everyone in the change rooms has, ex has the exact same goal. And But afterwards, yeah, it was... Very, for me personally, it was a little bit emotional. Um, I know how hard we're working to get to get to where we want to be, um, and yeah, we just have to stay grounded, not worry about the points too much, and just keep taking one week at a time. I'm here with the birthday boy, <laughs> Feliz cumpleaños, amigo. Muchas gracias, muchas gracias. Wow. Uh, don't ask it's... me how. Don't ask me how. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me how. Um, Vargas, what a way to celebrate your birthday. Yeah. I know a birthday's about the self, but you know this club is so tight. And when you see the boys come out second half and smack three goals, how does that make you feel inside? Oh, look, just speaking about it with uh, with Zaki and Jeff at you know at the end there in the change rooms, and the boys uh, rightfully you know um, celebrating the win. It's, we're super proud of them, you know, like to respond the way they did in the second half up against a very good team in Bentley um, and come out and, and give them three um, and then potentially could have been you know, four, fourth and a fifth. Just it, it typifies and, and speaks a lot of, uh, speaks volume sorry, of, of our character and what we're doing, you know. So the boys, I said it last week, you know, all the credit goes to the players, they're the ones that have to um, execute and they did, you know. So fantastic and a great way to, to be selfish and celebrate my birthday. <laughs> Zin, talk us through that penalty situation. If you're on Fantasy uh, Premier League, right, you'd get some points there for winning a penalty. Uh, did you kind of want to take a penalty or are you happy that Steph just put it away for you? Oh, no, of course we'll take the goal. <laughs> we'll take the goal any day. Um, but even if it was a penalty, I'm sure Liam would probably smack that in the top of the net anyway. So, look, we're just happy to, to come back, showed real good character in the second half and take three points, it's great. Yeah, let, let's talk about the second half, guys. Uh, what do you think, what was different about that second half that made us just go like, that was a, that was a whole new team, if, if we're completely honest, in a way. It wasn't that it was bad the first half, it just it, it lacked a little bit of chemistry, perhaps. So what was it that changed in the second? Yeah, I think our press was just a lot stronger. Um, we strangled them in their back four and didn't allow them to play out. Didn't give them time to look up either. And mm -hmm. yeah, they, we forced them into a lot of errors. Were we playing a little bit too deep in the first half? Were we not moving it the way we wanted? What was it about the first half? Or was it that Bentley were just very well organised? No, we've got to pay credit to Bentley. You know, they're a very well organised team and, um, you know, led, led well by Nick Tolios. Um, you know, they're the reigning champions, I guess, from the 2019 season, you know. So, um, but th it was a combination of that, them being well organised and also us not being clinical and patient enough in our ball position. And when we sort of spoke about that at half time and our movement and how we can really, I think in the in the last 10 minutes before half time, we really started to open them up a little bit. Yeah. And that was through our ball movement and, and the movement off the ball, which is something that we're known for and that we work really hard uh, together on. So we did that in the second half and we and I think we started from the get go. Like It was just... Oof. Yeah, from the 46 minute onwards, we just kept on going, you know. So again, credit to the boys and um, yeah, it was, a, it was a thoroughly good win. Yeah, definitely. I think we, um, first half, we sort of sat off and maybe gave them a bit too much respect. I think second half, we sort of, all of us stepped up and squeezed them high and made, you know, we forced errors out of them in, in, in great areas for us and we, we just we just went full throttle and it was really good to see. Talking about respect, on Tuesday, it's your birthday, so we'll talk about that then. Uh, but we take on Paco, FFA Cup. If we win this, we go to the last 32. How much respect do we need to give Paco, considering they are just the league below us, but they are on top? Oh, we've had heaps of tight contests against them in the past. They, they were in NPL only a couple of years ago, I think before the cancelled season. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and we have to give them the same respect we give every team that we play um, and any team on the day can beat anyone so we have to turn up ready to play and if we want to be in the round of 32 then we have to bring our best just like every other week.
But was there a little slight tweak in, let's say, you might say, okay, you know what, we need Mario to play a little here, or we need this person to come in there, or was there anything very specific that we think that we recognised in that moment and went, you know what, actually, the issue predominantly lies around here, so this is how we're going to fix it, as opposed to the general kind of moving. Was there anything? We spoke a little bit about our press and how we did. We felt like our press wasn't so well. The intentions were right. So was it that the triggers? Yeah, we, we, they weren't all on the same page with triggers. A little bit, you know, we had. We had players leading the line and they're not, not sort of being supported underneath and as a collective we weren't necessarily entirely happy with that in the first half and we, we spoke about that at half time and, and combined also with our ball movement and, and what we're doing without the ball when we've got possession of it so you know and I think we fixed both, both those issues quite well you know and again all the credit goes back to the players they executed really really well in the second half and you know really big effort to, to put in a dominant performance in the second half against a very good team. Zin, it's Saturday night it's a tight bunch of boys. You've also got the wags going on, about six or seven of them, right? I know Lundy's got a wag and they, everyone's got the wags <laughs> going on. You know, they, they all love hanging out. You guys going to celebrate in some way today? Yeah, Morris uh, Jones might get a... Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> might get a Name drop, but yeah. look, take it easy. <laughs> Morris Jones. Um, yeah, no, definitely have a, have a few quiet ones with the boys and um, enjoy the win, and, but we've got to get back to back to work uh, on Monday and prepare for Tuesday night as well. well. Well, yeah, what happens with training? So, for example, obviously it's Saturday. You play on Tuesday. What's the general plan? How do you guys approach it from a physical perspective? I think we're training Monday. Just a light session, Very keep light. the legs ticking over, and then we'll... Um, come in Tuesday for the game and then try to get a recovery session in and then maybe one more session before the game next week. So very packed schedule but that's why we play football isn't it? Boys, you did a great job. You got Lundy over there acting like an absolute fool trying to throw you off your game but just like today you were on it in the second half and you're on it here after the whistle with Stefan Zinni and Yite Towns. Thank you.